Hi, my name is Harrison Furlato, an orthopedic surgery resident. Today, we're going to learn how to properly dress a stump. So, um, this technique that I'm about to show is good for multiple reasons. Uh, first of all, it applies good compression and hemostasis to any stump, uh, whether it be a transmetatarsal amputation stump at the foot or a below knee amputation stump as we have here. Uh, it's also very effective at staying on and it doesn't slip off easily, which can be a problem with other dressing techniques. So we start by taking some 4x4 gauze and just applying it over the raw areas of the wound. Then we take a Curlex bandage and make a small tail like this and put the tail along the bottom of the wound, bottom of the stump, and pinch it with the bottom of our left hand. Then we roll up the front of the wound and pinch with our thumb on the top. We rotate, pinch again, bring it back down, this time over the lateral side of the wound, applying some compression across the front of the stump. Rotate on the bottom, roll it back up the side over the medial side of the stump, applying compression across the front, pinch again on top. Now we have a nice um, bandage right across the front of the stump in a um, longitudinal manner, front to back. Now we start by wrapping circumferentially with the curl X like this. And this will hold that front to back pattern in place, nice and tight on the stump. Around, around. Notice how this entire time I've been unwrapping the curl X in the proper way such that you're looking into the bandage instead of looking on the outside of the bandage. That way it unrolls itself naturally right on the skin surface. You could tuck it in or tape it. And that's how to properly dress a stump. Uh, I'd like to thank Dr. Kamenani for showing me this technique. And I hope you all apply it to all your patients for uh, proper hemostasis and proper wound care. Thank you.